The race-offs, what's going to happen here? They're, I think they, well, they may be race-offs. I think the Serbian one in particular, and as we were talking earlier about the uh, the Australian situation, it's a little bit subjective, right? It's yeah, yeah, it's, well, it's about the country. Your country wants to win medals, and what are you going to do, you know? Murray's an awesome team boat pilot, and this will be interesting to see what they can produce here. And The fellows are on the start line. We've got Lawrence Panikouk from Belgium, lane one. Max Hoff, lane two. Lane three is Murray Stewart from Australia. Lane four, Dejan Pajic from Serbia. Lane five, Miroslav Kirchev from Bulgaria. Lane six, Marko Tomasevic from Serbia. Lane seven, our mate Ken Wallace from Australia. Lane eight, Josandra Solhag from Norway. And lane nine, Mr. Rene Holton Polson from Denmark. So far in the World Cup season, Max Hoff has got two gold. Rennie at the bottom of your picture has two silvers and Fernando Pimenta from Portugal who's not here today has three bronze, two bronzes like. And they're off. <clears throat> Murray Stewart likes to get out fast. Lane three there, you just saw him on your screen. And Max Hoff obviously in lane two. Bit of a steam engine. Just keep him in a check. Sometimes keeps, uh, you know, the pace strong throughout and even splits the whole way down. And then we see Ken Wallace in lane seven. Typically behind after 250 meters, but did never ever count that guy out in the last nah, half of the race. One of the hardest men to beat in the last 250, I believe. A lot of power coming from the arms and legs of Murray Stewart there from Australia. Charging out fast. He's got Max Hoff on his left, just in his rear view. And you never want to count him out in the second half no, of the race with either. A, with a name like the Hoff, Hasselhoff, you know, the king of the beach, how could you beat this man? Marko Tomasevic there in, uh, in lane six looking really good. Uh, and he, as I mentioned, the support for Serbia sticker on the back of his boat, just uh, calling attention to the, uh, the flooding and the devastation that they've experienced. Billions of dollars of damage, unfortunately. And Rennie Holton Poulsen in the bottom lane, he's actually changed his coach in the last few months, changed tactics, or he has tactics now. <laughs> he's, he's always had tactics and, uh, you know, we've seen lots of great races from Rene. Uh, yeah, he's working with the, the, the great Zoltan Vako from uh, from Hungary originally, and he's coached some great athletes over the years. Really seeing a big, strong push from Murray here up to uh, not quite at the 500, but doesn't seem to be letting up. And within about an hour's time, he's also going to be going again in the K4 1000. Yeah, should be interesting. A bit of bit of backing up there for him. That, that's going to really sting in the back half of that K4 race, I believe. Yeah, paddling like he's got something to prove here, just coming up to the halfway mark. Looking like a 143, 143 split with uh, Max Hoff just about second a second and a half behind Murray stroke rate might have just slowed up just a touch it'll be interesting to see what Max does now Max seems to be picking it up a tad and Marco Tomasevic should mention Lawrence Panikuk over in lane one there seems to be holding pace quite well and as we've seen lane one can be quite advantageous in second second Serbian lane four Dejan Pajic Strong performance from him. I can't say that I've ever raced against him before. I'm not, uh, no, I raced him in the heat of the uh, K1 500 yesterday. He was very powerful, so he could have something here in the back end for us and light it up. Max is not letting Murray go. He's staying on him. Gonna have, I think it's going to be a Max and Murray battle in the last 300 meters here just as we come into the, uh, the 250. Three quarters of the length. He's, he's pulling him back. He's, he's really pushing now. Marko Tomasevic seems to be putting himself in good contention for a bronze medal, but don't count out Rene Holton Poulsen down in lane nine. Or Max. Or Ken Wallace, actually. He's, He's not too far to behind. Do, He's he? got a bit, but that's, uh, I've seen... Max is making his move. Just just taking the lead there. He's really strong. Look at the rating guy now. Max's stroke rate is coming up quite a bit. Coming into the last 100 meters. Max is showing why he's past the field these days. The reigning world champion. But Ken Wallace on the bottom of your screen. Don't count him out for a medal. He's charging past. Last 100 meters to go. And really it's on the hard. Max Hoff's going to take you. But Kenny Wallace at the bottom of your picture is absolutely flying. Germany, Australia, Australia, Serbia, Serbia. The battle of the countries. Now we've got two Aussies here battling it out for the second and third spot. Really, really incredible finish from both Australians. Wow. That's that's a classic race there. Just I can't oh, remember yeah. the last time I've uh, <laughs> I've seen two Aussies on the podium. Murray that's, and that's massive. Murray and Ken, uh, great battle there, and and Max showing why he's the past the field. Yeah. yeah, that's unbeaten in the last four international races. That's that's pretty solid effort to keep on your game for nearly a year now. 
Yeah, he always says he's got to be top of his game just in order to win the German trials, which is true. But he's basically <coughs> the, the guy with the target on his back now. Yeah, you, you're a hunted man when you keep winning. <laughs> it's, a, it's a stressful thing, I could imagine. Great race for Murray Stewart. Really, you know, showed left it all out there and uh, and showed that he's in K1 form. Yeah, it's uh, gonna be it's gonna be interesting in the Australian camp now to see what what happens with two guys on the podium. Mm -hmm. That's a class field, I suppose. And important to note those are that's Australia's first and second medal now in uh, in the thousand meter K1 on the World Cup scene. So, and not even half a boat between nah. Murray and Ken. Really impressive from Ken though. That the last, last 250 was yeah. nuts. Yeah, that that's just nuts. He's the only guy in the world that can do that. That's uh, that was. Yeah. yeah. And when you interview him, you say, "Why do you do that?" He says, "I don't know. I just need to <laughs> get as far as I can." Yeah. He likes to pretend like it's a slingshot and really throw himself at the line at the last minute. And he doesn't always hang back too far in the 500, though. So I mean, you know, nah. he's got the speed off the line, and he's fast in the 200. So the official results are up. Max Hoff takes it for Germany. Murray Stewart, silver medal for Australia. Kenny Wallace, bronze medal for.